Hey, what is going on you guys? In today's video, I wanted to go through all the items I regret buying in Fortnite, hopefully to advise you with purchases in the future, what to spend your V-Bucks on, because I spend a lot of time in Save the World actually grinding for V-Bucks, so spending them on items is a bit of a hassle, like don't know which ones to pick and you don't want to get something that is popular just because it's popular and I've actually accumulated quite a lot of skins over the time I've been playing Fortnite which is since the end of season 3 and these are the skins that I have accumulated you can see that my locker is not gigantic I'm not like rich or anything but I do have quite a lot of skins in my inventory here uh, which I can switch to at any time and with that, I do actually have a few skins that I regret purchasing. Now, a lot of these skins may be free or associated with a purchase of uh, the PlayStation Network or Save the World, like these skins, but uh, those will not be included in this list of these skins I regret buying in Fortnite Battle Royale. So let's start off with, of course, the Love Ranger. Now. The Love Ranger is a skin that was released for Valentine's Day. I haven't really used it as a skin a lot. The main reason why most people will purchase the Love Ranger is simply because of the Love Wings, which is the back bling that comes with it. And I think that is a solid reason for purchasing it. The only thing is 2,000 V-Bucks. That is a lot of V-Bucks to throw away, basically for the ability to put angel wings on any of your in-game skins i'm not really sure how i feel about that i just think it is a bit too pricey for just getting the back bling yeah i don't really recommend purchasing the love ranger i don't think it's worth it for 2000 v bucks or what is essentially a lot of time spent grinding for those v bucks you know a lot of missions to do in save the world slash 20 dollars because uh you can pick up 2000 V bucks for basically $20 so that is how much I spent on the Love Ranger and I honestly regret purchasing the Love Ranger. Another skin that I do regret getting is the Sash Sergeant which is basically a cowboy-ish uh, scout skin. It looks kind of like McCree from uh, Overwatch if you remember that character guys I used to play that hero a lot. Well that is basically what it is in Fortnite. It's basically the Jonesy skin, you know, the blonde default guy in a scoutish outfit with, uh, of course, badges and stuff. And this one set me back for 1200 V-Bucks. So what would be the equivalent for basically $12 uh, just for this skin, which I honestly regret purchasing because it's been in the item store like 20 times now, something ridiculous like that. So those were two skins that I regretted purchasing in Fortnite Battle Royale, but I do actually have a few others that I didn't really feel like purchasing um, apart from obviously picking them up for the back bling. One of those would have to be the Bright Gunner skin right here. Now, no offense to this guy right here, but um, the whole kind of Bright Bomber theme fits a lot better on the female equivalent of this skin the female variant and uh, I pretty much only picked this up for the bright bag which is the back bling that comes with the bright gunner skin um, it looks pretty sick and it's pretty rare to see around these days a lot of people used it with the technique skin last season but since then I, I haven't really seen too many people walking around with bright bags because they're mostly using all of the season 5 back blings which is uh, fair enough so I would have to put Bright Gunner in this list um, as the third skin that I kind of regret buying in Fortnite Battle Royale. I only really have one more skin that I regret purchasing in Fortnite Battle Royale because I don't really have a huge locker so the majority of these skins are actually battle pass skins or starter pack skins but the last one that I do regret purchasing is definitely got to be the Fireworks Team Leader. Now, I wasn't one of the players who purchased the Cuddle Team Leader. As you can see in my locker, I do not have the Cuddle Team Leader skin, which is one of the classic uh, skins. It was actually released for Valentine's Day along with the Love Ranger, which I do have. But this is the 4th of July version of it, and it's not really a good recolor. 
you did get a separate back bling but for a back bling it doesn't look too good in my opinion it's a blasting cap and it has you know rockets and fireworks in it so I get the whole novelty of that but I don't really recommend purchasing this skin if it comes out again and I really do regret it so that set me back for I believe 1500 V bucks so that was quite an investment of uh, grinding and playing for a long time so that is another skin that I do regret purchasing guys but those were four of the skins in Fortnite Battle Royale that I definitely regret purchasing and I pr probably would not purchase if I had the chance to decide whether or not to now but I do understand that some of these skins may become rarer in the future so I am not going to refund them for that reason anyways guys make sure to like this video if you did enjoy it I'll be making more content like this and a lot more Fortnite guides on how to become a better player I actually have a few advanced tips videos coming out soon on off meta building and what builds would suit you know build fights against more competitive players and uh, there are plenty of builds that don't really get utilized as much as they should in fights and they can save you a lot of time.